Hard plastic. Yeah, let's use that. Let's go with that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have another podcast tonight. We are gonna go on sometime around 5.30. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this. Yeah. Double bend or right angle? Let's, well, let me take a look. Oh shoot, my battery's gonna, actually I need a, you know what? Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's go flat bar, man. Flat bar? Let's go flat bar, man. What's up, Nick? How you doing, man? Which one are we using? Are we using the better bar, the care point? Let's go the better. I don't know where your better bar is. Does he, is he using the flat bar? No, he's, he's, he's got the flat bar over there, so let him go uh, give it to you. Uh, Paul, ask Paul where it's at. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? We are going to uh, do a little bit of tank work here. Got some opening here. Probably gonna push out a majority of this. With this, we're gonna use some heat. There's some heat here. Got the better bar right here. Adjust that. Can you adjust that for me here? I'm probably gonna take my mic off because it, it looks like my battery's gonna be going dead pretty soon. Of course, of course. How you guys doing? Uh, I'm not gonna start with glue. Um, you, generally, you wanna be very, very careful with uh, Harley tanks on with glue because of the um, how much clear coat has gone on it. So there's a probable chance it can pull paint, pull clear. So I don't use, I don't generally use uh, glue. You can, but there is a good possibility you can pull the clear. So, all right. Got this temperature going here. Yeah, we'll, we'll start it hot for a second for a little bit. Get this going. Oh, it's, don't forget this thing is like precision paint. Oh, yeah, no, it's... It can, you can, yeah. I had it like up here and it was keeping yeah. the panel. <clears throat> so we're gonna, you know what we're gonna do? Cause I'm gonna be pushing this way. So we need to put something there, don't we? To keep it from swaying. You're gonna be pulling, yeah, you're right. Uh, I'll go get the, go get it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Let me set this up here, guys. All right. I'm set you guys up here. You guys can see what I'm doing there. So we've got a nice little beautiful tank, man. Beautiful tank. And got a nice tank. Here you can see there's a little bit of pressure right here on the outside. I'll move it a little bit here. Starting to get nice and warmy. What? Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, over there, over there in the corner. Yeah. 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 J Y. All right. Where's the flat bar again? Right up here. You have that that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this flat bar right here, right? Should be able to get that. I think I need to curve it more. Let me switch there. We are going to, how about this? I like to give you guys everything what we're doing, right? So your bird's eye view, all right? So this is gonna be a long little video here. That should do it. Kind of, uh, kind of want to give you guys what I'm. Hopefully, that's not gonna be in my way, right? I hope so. It's 
not blocking the access to the. You know what? I don't think this is going to work for me. Because of the. Uh, I'm thinking the big beefcake. We call this one beefcake. Come here. Beefcake. I'll show you. We just finished this one, guys. It's had a nice little dent here. This one. It's my five eighths beefcake right here. You're thinking about, yeah. So let's put an extension on this. All right. Nice and hot, okay. Let's get the temperature on that. Can't text those dents out, dude. Yeah, <laughs> He's about 79 degrees, dude. You need to get warmer than that, dude. <laughs> Fifty-three, one sixty-two, one sixty. Okay, yeah, that's good. Anywhere, anywhere between one one forty to one eighty is about where I like it. Uh, let's see if this is gonna work here. Big John's gonna. Oh, Big John, yeah, you do the pleasure. I'll work around you. I'll, I'll do a little filming, dude. We call. Actually, you should call him Little John, dude. Let's see the comments here. I haven't really said that. I haven't really read the comments here. So, uh, shoot, I wish I could re uh, read that. Mexico. Okay, salutes. I, I get that. I get that. Thank you. See what you can get for free. <laughs> you can get a lot from me for free. So. Start on with glue. We already talked about that. South Florida dents. Oh, boy. Hey, where's our paddle at? Nelson gave us a... Where's my paddle at, man? John didn't use my paddle, so I've been using my paddle. Nelson, this is awesome, Ben. Thank you very much. This is the bomb.com. Huh? Yeah, he's gonna have to wait till he moves into his new house, man, because he doesn't have all his equipment. That dude, is but sweet yeah, look at that man. sucker, man. Compared to this one, this big is my bag. this is my OG. Yeah, it's called the Big John paddle, dude. <laughs> right. Look at that, dude. It's legit. Looks normal when I hold it. Yeah, thanks, Nelson. I appreciate that, man. And you look great too, dude. I saw you uh, at MTE. You lost a lot of weight, man. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite tools this MTE? All right, well, John's kind of getting that set up. Actually, I'll show you in a second, dude. Um, I'll show you in a minute. So what he's doing is he's getting some access under here. Whose phone is that? Are your phones on, dude? Playing some games, dude. <laughs> Oh, that is, it's got some crowns for sure, but look, wait, in order to release those crowns, he's going to push, okay? So let's, let's see him do it. Yeah, thanks, Nelson. Look at that, look at that. And that's got some nice heat on there, so he should be able to get some good pushing. You got enough leverage? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. So... my little hey Nelson what do you think about my little my little bike dude this is rubber apparently 
Get some leverage here. Yeah. That's good, I got you. A little low. There you go. All right. Oh, look at that. Good strength in that. Stay balanced, dude. You know what I mean? There you go. I'm still training John. I still I can't help it. I'm like, stay trying. He knows it, dude. Like, look, look, he's trying to get clean pushing. All right. Trying to bring that metal out. There you go. That's good push. Ooh. This is. Uh, Nelson, that's a uh, Honda Grom. Honda Grom. Yeah, you wouldn't recognize it. It looks, it looks like a little wussy bike when you see it, first see it, like when it's stock. But good job, Johnny. So this is where we go to a smaller tip, mm -hmm. right? We go to a smaller tip on that. Yeah. You may, you're making short work of that, dude. Okay. Like too dense almost, you know? Started. When I put the board on it, it wasn't just a little perfect circle, it was more of an oval this way. So I knew there was a little bit more going on than met the, 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 you know, the naked eye. Now you know what I would probably do, see if you could like, because I, I don't trust uh, the, just the regular, I would probably go with the lead tip. Yeah. Lead tip? Yeah. Yeah. So, let me show you. Hmm. Hmm. Lead tip, got you. Now you could, you know, you could go, you know, go with this one. You know, try it because you know, I think you need this will mold in there anyway, dude. You know, uh, it's gonna keep preventing from slipping too. Yeah, yeah. Large opium bomb for fuel injection bike. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, I didn't see that. So he's using a lead tip. Let's see what kind of pushing he's gonna get with this. Oh yeah, what do you think, G? I like it. See, it's yeah. it's pretty forgiving on the pushing. Dude. Yeah. You got the heat on it? Can you put? I don't think the heat's missing it, dude. So it's missing it. It's like over here. Yeah, put a little bit more on you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I feel it now. I feel I feel yeah. it now. Ooh, oops, sorry guys. Ooh. I'm looking with my eyes, not the camera, so sorry I should have been looking that way. But don't forget to join us tonight. I don't know exactly if it's going to be at 5 or 5.30, but we will have a live podcast. Hope you guys can join us. We always invite people to talk and discuss. We're going to do a recap of MTE and talk about some of the new tools I bought. Some of the new tools I, I retrofitted. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Do what you got to do. You got to do. You going to switch sides? So, Mr. Miller wants to switch sides, all right? I'll let him be. I'm actually going to let him do some stuff there. We're going to go check on some of my students here. If you're new to my channel here, I do almost everything about paintless dent repair. I show a little bit of videos and I show how I do dents. I talk about dents in general. Uh, we do bump repair. We do, we're here at the shop. And I do paintless dent repair training for students personally. And these guys are on their last couple days here. Um, we did smash in that fender. They're going to be still working, finishing that. I will have a little bit of a, a TikTok video on that too as well. Um, but it's almost finished too as well. So let's, let's just take a look. Where are you at? Which dent are you working? Finish up those bottom two. I'm going to come back up to these other ones here and try to pull them up. Okay. So. Yeah, I put some sharp ones in there too. Did you want me to go sharper? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy. Oh, let me see. Finally. Finally. I put a nice sharp one in there too. It was about that, that yuck yay. So good job. Good job. Uh, what tool are you using? Is that a stand liner? Huh? Let me see what stand liner. Yeah, that's the stand liner. It's the newest of the newy. I got a stand liner there. Um, whoops. Yeah, hi from Europe, Mike. Oh, what's going on, Edin? That's uh, so what that does is slightly comes back, hooks over the brace a little bit, right? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. And then you're able to pinpoint that. Now we know what tool you want to get from Stan Liner. Oh, yeah. This one's huh? Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, that was one of the new tools I got. Um, I already retrofitted it. Yes, yesterday we went to uh, Ultra Dance and we had those cut off, okay? Um, here is a dense layer tool right here. This is from A1. I had this one cut off. Okay. There is one of my favorite ones. Well, actually, this is not yet my favorite, but yeah, I haven't tried it much. Here's the this tool right here. This is like uh, kind of like the spade blade shaved tool, kind of whale tail kind of. Cut it off. One I wish I forgot to cut off was this one. This one is super money, man. This one right here. This is the straight snake. Um, like a little hump here. It is really fantastic for, for finishing. We'll do some more demos on that. But one of my favorites of favorites is this one. The needle tool. All right. Retrofitted. Right. Bang. It is awesome, okay? So, yeah. Did you get it out, Mr. Miller? See, you guys, this is what happens. In, in, I'm not, I'm not, a, I don't have a lot of time to make polished videos anymore. I think, you know, honestly, this is, the organic way to learn. This is what you see. This is what you, goes on in a PR shop. Let me explain a little bit more about here. We've got a little bit of crown here. You see, this is the normal right here. This is how we read it. This is normal. This is pinch. This is when they, when it got hit, the energy went out, right? It, and, and we call it a shock wave and it's got, and the, the, the force of it stopped here. John's like, get the hell out of the way. Let me tap down my, and we got one right here. I'm just showing okay. you. And, you're, and John's typing down with this right here. We're well, not going to use Mr. Nelson's heavy duty one. Try it. The paddle. Oh, yeah. You didn't try it yet. No. The big John paddle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Kind of hard to see what you're doing, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it now. And how's that for a perspective, right? Can't get any more perspective. That metal's light now, huh, John? Oh yeah. Since you got the main dent out, dude. I got the heat going on. It wants to move wherever it wants. Now the big misconception, everybody, is that they they feel like, uh, hey, you know, Mike, you know, you you should work on gas tanks with heat it's going to blow up or it's going to catch on fire that's not true at all um it's empty so. it, it's totally empty um that would be a little concerned if i had a bunch of gas in there and i was doing that um because you take out your tool and it drips some gas and you know if it's hot enough it can ignite but this no it's never gonna never gonna catch fire like that you know the main thing about this is cross-checking what he's doing he's going back and forth just making sure it looks good from both angles. He's got the right leverage right there. It's eye level, all right? I know it's there. I was trying to get moving back over soon. Yeah, let me switch over. That's not good lighting right here, dude. Let's switch over, okay? So let me read some some comments. 
Oh, no. Nobody can't said anything. You don't know more questions? You guys are just watching? Okay. Yeah, his dance almost gone, man. There's not much action today, John. There's not that much struggling. Beautiful tank. This tank is going to be, this is a local guy in San Diego. Um, and that one is, that guy is from, he's I, somewhere in, I'm not sure, somewhere in the States, but I have to ship that. And that's his box right there. In case you're new to PDR and you don't know, you have been haven't been to my channel before, uh, these are some of the tools that we use. This is an ultra dent, mainly set tools right here. So uh, this is the way they look like this. What's going on, RT? How you doing? And then this one is uh, more of a hail set. This is from Excalibur. Um, I've got some flat bar, some other tools, specialty tools, Reaper tools. Uh, we got some blem hook tools, the OG reapers, some blending hammers here. And some, these are my flat bars, all right? All different types. And then let's show you over here in this drawer. This is an ultra, this needs to go back. And this one right here is, is my um, Anson drawer. Missing some door lords here, door lord sharps. Uh, someone says, hey, hi, hi from Holland. Where can I buy the tools you guys use? We in Holland can disconnect the handles and turn them into stuff. We are not advanced like you guys in Holland. Um, Actually, they have a distributor, I think, in the Netherlands. They have a distributor in the Netherlands. I'm not sure who it is, but you can buy the octagons from Ultra Dent Tools. You can buy the hubs, the hubs from, from Anson. So let me show you, okay? So these are the octagons, right? And then those are, that's one type of set you have. And then you can buy the hubs from Anson, Anson PDR, these are the hubs. So you can pick your systems, right? Um, the handle systems can go, well, there's two, two types of handle systems that we use, right? He's using one of those, those are, that's, the, that's the Anson hub system that goes on that, right there. And then the other one's the Ultra. So there's just two systems that we use most of the time, right there. And that's an ultra system. And that handle, can you show them how that handle pops off and on? Like that, and it can go from a T handle, yep. He puts it on and then, and then ratchet it, no, and then ratchet it, pull it straight up, pull it straight up, no, pull your handle and turn it. No, 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 no. It's got a ratchet, keep it in there. Hold that, no, don't touch that, pull it up, there you go. Yeah, pull it straight up harder. There you go. See how he's got a spring loaded in there? And then you can take that handle and you can put it on that side too as well. So you can take, he can make it a, a, a yeah, come on, where's your strength at, dude? Well, yeah, but now, now make it a T handle, right? There you go. Bang. So he can make it as wide as long. Look at this guy, man. I have to get him to the gym, dude. Get you to the gym, dude. All right. Uh, yes, we don't got that. We got steady handles from the switches, turntable. Okay, so get the get the handle systems from Ultra or or uh, Anson. I like both systems because they both are just the top notch uh, handles, if you ask me. Okay, um, and then because I don't like handles, the handles are just uh, they're cumbersome. They're too big, and I don't want to get married to them. You know, I'm a swinger kind of handle guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Let's see what Big John's doing here. Dang. 
Now, see, at this point, yeah, you can actually take that out. You probably don't need it. You probably, you probably, you probably don't need that. Now, John's like, Mike, leave me alone. What tip you got on there? You can go slide and glide now, go for the finishing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, where, where did we have that slide and glide? Oh, here it is. So if he wants a little something more st steady. Right. I got to try not to like overprotect it because there's the, the paint distortion line. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks good, dude. It's already, it's already coming out, man. Yeah, it has the paint distortion line, so you got to yeah. those. Like all this yeah. stuff right here. Yeah, like it's that. just barely there, dude. I, I would switch switch to this one, dude. That battle paddle. Uh, he calls it the battle paddle. Battle Solid. Paddle. Yeah, okay, okay. Battle paddle. All right, it, Nelson. It, it was working real well on those crowns. It's there. nice, huh? It's like it's, it, you, it's don't have to, you don't have to swing so high up. Dude, it, it's that, the huh? nicest way to think. For its size, and, you know, like yours is perfectly weighted for its size. This really feels really yeah. good for its size. I like that's it. That's a big deal for me. I like it. I like it a lot. Like the, the, weight, yeah. the weight proportion there. Yeah. I love dance, man. Love dance, man. Big John's doing his thing. Got my students over there doing their thing. No griping, right? right. We're getting it done, right? That's how we do it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost finished. John's almost got this pretty much wrapped up. My name is Mike Toledo. If you guys have a dent in your vehicle, maybe you're interested, maybe you want to send your tank uh, to the Dent Time shop, let us know. You can contact us. I'll give you some information there. You can go to denttime.com. You can go to dentremovalsandiego.com. I don't want to confuse you, but just go to those sites right there. Uh, you can go to our fin insta fin insta uh, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, or Instagram, uh, and you can check out a lot of stuff we do. I do different things on different platforms, so uh, TikTok as well. So go check out those things and uh, give us some give us some love. Show us some love, all right? Uh, let me go see what the hell is John how he's doing here. I like this how how accurate that port of cable uh, heat gun is, dude, how you can set the tone for that, or set the heat. You could really, and, and honestly, if you wanted, you put it on high heat, and you could set it, like, another foot up in the air. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Now I can see that crown just barely from over here. You'll see what I mean. Like, pe most people probably don't see what I'm talking about, but there's a little bit of a crown right. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. Right there. Okay. But he's just working that little low. If you guys like this, please let us know in the comments. Um, show us some love if you if you find this a little bit interesting, man. That'd be cool. Hit well, that share button, y'all. Hit the share button. I tell you. What. Oh, right here, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now you're welcome. You're welcome, Yokis. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but you know, but you're welcome. Um, also, if you guys are interested in professional PDR training, like online, just a little bit low towards you, dude. Do you see that? You see that little? Yeah, those. Yeah, in that area. Um, you can go to denttrainer.com. Denttrainer.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's it. I'm not going to stay here and bore the heck out of the rest of you guys. Stay tuned tonight. We're going to go live on the podcast tonight. And uh, we'll go from there. Look at this guy trying to be professional, man. Look at that guy. Yeah. Look out for these guys. Up and coming PDR techs. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it, these type of videos, all types of videos. You're in love with PDR, man. You're going to love this channel, all right? Great video. Always learn something. Thanks again. Well, thank you, Mr. Nelson Garcia. And don't get too big on, the, on your wife's cooking, man. I'll tell you that. So, all right? See you guys. End.